In this video guys we are obtaining the Tentail Aizen Bloodline in under 24 hours so without further ado let's get straight into the video. So how this challenge is going to work is first of all I have to create a brand new account and then I have basically two bloodlines I'm going to try and aim for Apollo Sand and Shadow and then for the elements Earth and Acid. After I've got those bloodlines and elements I'm going to be maxing them out and then we're going to be killing the Gen 3 bosses until they drop the masks which we can then convert into the bloodline. However we have to do all of that in under 24 hours. So yeah, stick around to the end to find out if you actually complete this challenge or not Because if you don't, there's going to be a huge forfeit at the end of the video Alright guys, so the first thing that we need to do is create a brand new account We're going to be calling it 24 hour affinity here, okay If I can type, there we go We're going to create that so it can give us some extra luck So we can get the bloodlines we need to kill the bosses easily Sign up, just like that easy peasy lemon squeezy Alright, and now we just go into Shindo life and just hope for the best that we get the bloodlines that we want. All right, now we are at basically the customization screen menu. But to be honest, we don't really need to make a. We're, just, we're gonna make a character look a little bit cool. Okay, we're just gonna have his hair like this, and then his outfit. Because to be honest, that's like the least important part. And yeah, we're just we're just gonna keep it like this for now. Maybe we'll change the character later. Maybe we'll make him look like Aizen. However, now this is the difficult part. The bloodlines that I primarily want. I've like searched some videos up. I would want Shadow and Apollo Sand. I feel like that would be very, very, very good. And then for my elements, I would want Acid Earth. So Earth is very, very easy to get, but Acid's going to be a very, very... It's not going to be that difficult. However, it's going to require a lot of spins. So I need Shadow and Apollo Sand in this, and then Acid and Earth. We have a thousand spins, so realistically, we should get them easily because they are not rare bloodlines. Okay, is there anything in the shop here that we can get? Okay, no. Because look, it's literally 1 out of 50. And if we go in Shadow, it's a 1 out of 30, so it should not be that difficult, let's be honest. And then the Acid and Thingy, I think Acid is 1 out of 80. So we, I'm hoping we don't have to make a new account, because it, it should be it should be realistically very, very easy to get them all in the same account with 1,000 spins. We have 65 spins now. I don't want to use the code now until I have 0 spins so we can like maximize our spins, basically. The better Zender Dark Care would also be decent, however, I think for killing bosses, Shadow might be better and I think I'm very very certain I think it's cheaper too because I think like Shadow and I think Apollo Sand are very very cheap so that's going to save us a lot of cash and then Acid's always going to be not that expensive and then Earth is not going to be expensive either. Hey we got Ryan Rengoku which is a very good bloodline but I feel like it's better I prefer like PvP than PvE but these I had like I've spoken like 300 times so far and that was the only good bloodline that I got I don't know why my look for today has been so so bad but yeah so far my look we're halfway through the first code and so far my look had just been dreadful hey we also got Tengoku now okay our look slowly getting better I'm hoping hey we got combustion style which is which is one of the rare elements oh if we just got acid instead of it I think it's like exactly the same rarity as acid but yeah so far our look has slowly gotten better I feel like that style is exactly the same as fire so there's no point of keeping it all right first 500 spin code done and no good bloodline that we want so we're just gonna have to use the little 500 spin code and just hope for the best because so far our luck has not been that great at all we've been getting like good bloodlines just not the ones that we want and the ones that we want are even rare i don't even know why we've not even got one of them so far and neither we didn't even get acid element too so i don't know why our luck today has been very very bad i'm just hoping we do get like everything that we need in these 500 spins but i doubt it but yeah i'm just gonna keep on spinning and i'll see you guys if i do get any of like the bloodline to elements that i need or want all right 80 spins left and we've got raid and sabori one of like the new bloodlines i feel like there's no point of spinning it we have also acid to be fair there's no point of spinning it. We might as well just start a brand new account because I don't think we're going to get Apollo Sand and Shadow at the, in the same account because I feel like it's just unrealistic. The RC shop has updated. There's Dark Joker, I forged Sengoku and Kaijin. They're all good bloodlines, just not the bloodlines that we want to kill the Gen 3 Tails. So I feel like now we're just going to start a new account and I'll see you guys when we have the Element Acid and the bloodlines Apollo Sand and Shadow in the same account. Okay, we just got Shadow here. We have 83 spins left. Do we spin Raiden Saburu? I think I do. I think I just have to just go for it and spin Raiden Saburu. You know what? We'll, we'll risk it for the biscuit. Okay, we have 80 spins left. I think that could be like one or two. I think that's actually... Oh, yeah. There's a code that gives us 200 spins. So, yeah, I think... Oh, I think we could actually get the Apollo Sand in this account. Okay. All right, guys. We actually got Apollo Sand and Shadow. After, to be honest, not that many spins. And we've also got Acid and, and Earth at the same time. Okay. 
thankfully I didn't start a new account because we got them very very quick and now we can actually go into the game and start grinding them because we need to get a good good level to start actually like comboing and killing the gen 3 bosses easily all right guys so we are a level one okay and the first thing that we need to do is of course upgrade and unlock the moves our bloodline moves and are they okay they are not expensive to be honest we don't really care about the shadow moves we only care about the mode that we lock at level 400 and then these two we at the we'll just unlock all these moves here and after that the elements we unlock the top three moves here and then the top three of these ones and we will be chilling and it's not going to cost us that much altogether it's going to cost us like 150,000. so we can do that very very easily the thing is that's going to be a bit hard is leveling them up okay what do we need to get okay we need to get this to level 400 level 400 and my elements to level 465 which is not going to be that difficult to be honest Oh, I thought it was going to be a lot harder, and after that, to be honest, once we're like level 700, 800, I think we can easily kill the tail beasts. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a little bit of like, grinding, log grinding, so we can lock like the first two moves and stuff. Alright, so we have finished leveling up our bloodlines, we're level 66, however, our elements and bloodlines are level 162. However, we st we did some missions, of course, because we hit the log, so we get 7.3 here, we get 14.3k here, and 8k from this one. On. so we are getting a decent we've got like so much actually okay we can unlock this one here and also get this one if that's gonna let me unlock it and then if we just unlock any random ninja too we're just gonna unlock this one here because it's very very cheap i think it's the cheapest yes yeah, the cheapest and then we can unlock also the weapon too so we have right now forty thousand. so we can basically unlock what moves can we unlock? We can unlock this one, this one, this one, and this one very, very easily. And now we've got four moves. I feel like doing these green score missions is going to be very, very easy. The worst thing is we don't have a mode. So we're so, so slow whilst we're traveling, which is really, really annoying. All right, okay, here on my journey, I saw a group of Taijutsu students. Can you defeat them? Of course we can. Also, I'm deba debating on if I should get that winter avalanche move, this one here, because it will help us out tremendously, but it's going to take us... I feel like it's going to take it like an hour or two to even get. It's a boss drop from the guy, from the gingerbread guy. I think he like spawns in Nimbus or wherever he spawns. And then if we get that, I feel like we'd be able to kill the guy so, so easily. However, it does cost 2.2 million coins. So I'm debating if we should get it or not. Maybe at the start, I think I'm just going to try and kill them. When it's like level 700, I'm just going to try and kill like the, the tails without that move. And if we're struggling a lot, then I think I'm going to try and go for that move. I don't, oh, we don't have, we, we don't have enough chi for the first move. What about the, okay, we have, a, okay, we have enough chi for that move. We have enough chi for like the, why wow, they do damage, holy. Okay, this is going to be a struggle because we don't have a mode. So that's like, we are going to be struggling so much. Wow. Okay. When does this mode unlock? Okay, that unlocks at 250. So at least I have like a decent mode to start off with. Okay, they are not dying either, bro. Okay, these green score missions are going to be difficult all right we've killed two now so we just need to kill this last guy here okay i'm hoping he doesn't attack us until we use our move okay we can use some taijutsu here okay we have killed him and that's gonna level us up a decent amount okay we're level 80 and we have 252 points i'm gonna put at least 150 into our hp because we really really do need it and then i'm gonna put 100 into our chi because we also need that too there we go but yeah so far right now we are gonna be struggling doing these green scroll missions until we unlock like one of our modes this one exactly because this one's like level 250 so i feel like i should do a little bit more log grinding which is i know is boring but i think i have to do it to get to level 250 so i can even like have at least a mode that's gonna carry us a little bit so yeah i'll see you guys when my bloodline's level 250 all right now that we've unlocked the mode yeah it's gonna be so much easier because if you look at our buff we've got 2.8k hp now so we are gonna be like rolling through this like it's nothing okay we have to defeat some of the dawn ninjas they should not be that difficult but yeah this mode i did not think this mode is going to be that good especially for it to be like level 250 to unlock it's a very 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 good mode so i'm not complaining so i'm just going to go there and absolutely destroy these guys but yeah now we're going to be doing so much damage so it's going to be so so easy i'm going to try the c-spec on this move is it going to be a good c-spec Okay, the C spec. Okay, the C spec just kills them straight away. Wow, that is wow, that is so overpowered. Okay, now we're gonna be leveling up so much quicker. Finally, wow. All right, I think just one C spec will just kill them straight away. If that's the case, yep, one C spec. Oh, it kills one of them, and then we can just use our acid move. What's this acid move? Okay, I think it's like if they hit us. Uh, I don't even know that didn't even work, but okay, we still killed them though. It's so so easily. 
but yeah i think now i'm gonna be doing like a training arc where I just try and like basically level up as much as possible until i get to like level 600 700 and then we can unlock like this move here this move here and then we can lock this mode and unlock all these that we need like this one all these moves here and then after that we can actually start finally killing the gen 3 bosses so yeah, i'm just gonna be doing a quick training arc and i'll see you guys when I am like around level 600, 700. All right guys, we've managed to get to level 821 whilst we were grinding and we basically unlocked everything that we need. So if we go in elements here, we've unlocked the three moves from here and three moves from here that we need. And then if we go in bloodline, we can unlock this one here, this one here, and then we can have VBN like so and we can equip this mode here so i feel like now we are built to kill and the first person that we're going to be killing is the apollo spirit and he is in dunes where we are right now and i want to go by order so it's like more organized so i want to kill him first get his drop and then just go in order the thing is i don't know the drop rate of like the hollow masks like even in the wiki and stuff it doesn't tell me so i'm just gonna have to just keep on repeatedly killing him until we do get it I think we're probably gonna get the Gen 3 spirit before we even get like the before we get the mask, but it's okay. Okay, now we do a decent amount of damage, and we're just gonna hit him with all of our moves. I'm I'm like I'm, this is my first time using this, so I don't know if it's gonna be good. Okay, that did really good damage too. But to be honest, we are doing a very very good amount of damage so far. And then we, when we wait for him to rest, that's when we're gonna do a lot a lot of damage. Oh, he is actually not that. Oh, he's okay. He's rested now, so now we can start doing all of our moves on him. Okay, we can use this move, and then this move. I don't know, never mind this move. There we go. Wow, that does so much damage. The end move. Okay, the, the V move, the, the V and B move are absolutely trash, but the end move is very, very, very good. And I feel, I feel like this is one of the easier ones to kill though, because I know there's like the Kuruma boss and stuff are very, very hard to kill. And then this this move here. And this guy is just dead just like that. Wow, that was so, so easy. And he didn't even kill us once. And to be honest, wait, can we if we go ninja tools, can we buy this? Okay, can we lock it? Okay, we need to be level 900. Are we level 900? Wait, what's our level? Okay, we're level 841. But yeah, we are chilling right now, okay? This guy should not be that difficult at all. So yeah, I'm just going to be killing this guy repeatedly until he hopefully drops the hollow mask. If he doesn't have to like kill him like 20, 30 times, we might as well start switching around and maybe go like to another boss and then come back to him later. Because to be honest, we only have 24 hours. So we could like, we, there's no point of wasting time with him. We'll just go to him at the end. But yeah, I'm just going to be killing this guy repeatedly. And I'll see you guys when we do get like one of the good drops. Alright guys, so as you've seen just there, we killed him like 5 times and he has dropped it. So I'm guessing the drop rate is not going to be that bad. I'm hoping the drop rate isn't that bad. So yeah, we got 1 out of the 9 masks and now, okay, when, what was the next mask? Okay, this guy here, okay, he's dropped Shindai Valley. Is there anyone else in Shindai Valley? Okay, there's 2 people in, Vin okay, there's Vinland, Shikai Forest, okay. So next one is Shindai Valley. So yeah guys, I'll see you when I'm next to his spawn point. Alright, this guy, I'm next to where Maru Gen 3 spawns. I'm hoping this guy's not going to be that difficult. Because Apollo Sand, I'll be honest with you, was so, so easy to kill. I'm just hoping Maru is also easy to kill. Okay, we're just going to use our enemy first. Okay, because that does so much damage. That move, like we're already basically halfway through his HP. So yeah, if you want to kill Gen 3 bosses, this is a very, very good build to go for, especially if you're a beginner. It's extremely cheap and everything. And then we can use this F move here. And then, yeah, this guy, oop, okay. When he rests, that's when we can do a lot, a lot of damage. But yeah, I think they're not, oh, whoa, 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 okay, they do damage, okay. Wow, wow, that was so much damage, okay, but they've rested now. So we can use this move here. And then this move here. And then we can use this move. Okay, they're super, super low now, but we, we have to avoid that move because that move does so much damage, it's unreal. We are basically one shot. Yeah, and we're dead, okay. <laughs> but they're so low though. The thing is, we need a health stim. Are we level... Okay, we are level 900, so after we kill this guy, we're going to get a health stim because, wow, that guy is super, super strong. Then all of... None of it hit. Oh, don't say first try. Is that it? I'm going to pick it up. Is that it? First try? Wait... I think, oh yeah, unlock Gen 2 mask. Wait, Gen 2 mask. Wow, that was first try. We got that. Wow. I'm actually shocked. I can't even speak. Wow, I'm, I, I didn't even expect to get it first try. Well, that's very, very good. Now we can move on to Sparky in Haze. 
wow that was so unexpected but yeah uh, i guess i'll see you guys when i'm next sparky all right okay sparky is basically about to spawn in so we can just mode up and kill him imagine we get this guy first try that would be too too real that'll be like just uh, it'd be impossible basically but yeah okay I feel, I feel like this guy looks so so easy to kill oh no he messed up our move i hate it when he cancels our move but we've barely actually done any hp to him okay we need to kind of run away a little bit okay i'm gonna run away with my acid move that's left us on one hp basically wow it's left us on a thousand hp i'm shocked that we're not dead yet okay we just need to wait for our shadow move to come back and then i think we can kill him i think we can kill him before he kills us come on shadow move please there we go no way it spawned first try there's no way is it is it is that it ek ekg what is that i don't know if we, if we got it no 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 definitely yeah it wasn't it okay okay but we got something out of him i don't know what we got ekg to be honest i, I actually don't know what it is like i'm trying to look at some abilities and stuff i do not know what that ekj is uh let me search it up oh it's it's a bloodline oh okay it's a bloodline so it is pretty pretty decent but to be honest let's be honest i ain't gonna use that but yeah okay we got something that was pretty pretty good however we didn't get the mask but yeah i'm gonna be killing this guy over and over again until we do get the drop and i'll see you guys when we hopefully get the drop Alright guys, we have finally got that mask, okay? We are 3 out of 9. That took like around an hour or so, so I feel like in the 24 hours, we can easily, easily complete this challenge. Now, I think we have to go to Ember, and I'm thinking, because Happy Spirit, like, is in Ember, or slash Blaze, and this guy is in Blaze too, Kurama. I think we just try and go for both of them at the same time, so we can collect two birds with one stone. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm at basically one of their spawn points. Alright, okay, we are at the Happy Gen 3 spawn point, and now we gotta kill him, okay? I'm hoping this guy isn't that strong. Okay, so we use this, and then we use this end move. If he comes close, okay. To be honest, bro, this combo is so, so, so goated. Like, it's just very, very, very good. I recommend everyone get this combo if you want to kill these bosses very very fast. I need to try and avoid these moves but he's very very strong. So we just have to run around, try and dodge all the moves. How much is he hits for? I can't even see anything bro. That looks like Magu from GPO. Okay he's basically already very 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 low. We just need a few more moves and he should be dead. And then after that we can move on to Kurama and just keep on alterating between them two until we get both of their masks. Okay we can just hit that. Okay, we just need to hit like one. Oh no, my move got cancelled. I hate it when it gets cancelled. But yeah, we just need to hit our shadow move. I think one more time I'll see spec and sh we should be good. If he doesn't kill us, please don't kill us. Okay. Okay, now yeah, we one shadow C spec and he should be dead. And then this move here. No, 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 the wrong move. Oh no. Okay, we need to press our end move quick. Okay, there we go. And he is dead. And after that, we can just alternate and go to the Kurama boss. Right now, we can go up here and then spawn the Kurama boss. And then do you want to fight Kurama Gen 3? Of course I do. And then I can use this and then use this too. Oh no, that barely hit him. But yeah, we're just going to have to run around because he does damage. He's like the hardest, basically the hardest boss to kill is him. Because he has like, I think, three moves. This move here is the one that I can't... Like, yeah, that move is just way way too strong we're just gonna have to run away from him now so we can regroup and use our okay our stim here we can use our stim and then mode up now i'm regretting not getting that volcano like avalanche move because it would have carried us in this situation okay he is very very low so that's very very good but then we're gonna die from that how much damage does that do okay okay finally he's rested that's the first time he's rested in the whole fight for some reason okay there we go and there we go, he is dead. Okay, I'm hoping we get that mask as soon as possible because this guy is very, very difficult to kill. But yeah, guys, I'm just going to be alternating between these guys and killing them. And I'll catch you guys when we've got the two masks.
All right, and we have got the two masks from the Gen 3 Happy Tales and Kuruma, and coincidentally, we are right next to Mustang, the Gen 3 Five Tales, and we basically, if we go on some abilities, we've basically cleared this row, we've cleared this, so we need only like these four, and that is it, and I feel like we can easily complete the challenge in the given time frame that we have, and Mustang, okay. Mustang, I've, I've literally never fought her at all, so... I don't know if she's going to be strong or weak. Uh, we can use this move here so we can block everything. Yeah, I've decided to get that move because it's so much more helpful. I can block like basically every single move. And what's happening? I can't see anything. Okay, isn't okay now she's going to rest. Perfect. We can use this move. Then we can use this. Uh, we can use G. There we go. And I'm hoping my end move comes back before she... Thingy. Nope, but it's okay. Okay, bro, that end move does so much damage. It's unreal. Wow, that was close. Okay, now we can use this move. Well, what's going on? Okay, we can use this end move. And then this G move. Is that going to kill her? And then, oh, never mind. She's got still got a decent amount of HP left. Okay, I'm going to use... And I'm going to use this move here so we can... Like, regain our HP and stuff. Okay, and now we're going to keep our distance. Use my end move. Oh, no, I hate it when, like, the, she just blocks my moves. There we go. There's no way we get it first try, right? Is that it? Okay, never mind. That was her bloodline. But yeah, okay, that was actually pretty, pretty lucky. But yeah, I'm just going to be killing uh, Mustang a few more times until we do get the drop. And I'll see you guys when we do get the mask. Alright guys, we finally got the mask from that Mustang Spirit. It took me so, so long to get it. I killed that boss like, like 20 times, I kid you not, to get it. To be honest, we got literally the Spirit before we got the Hollow Mask for some reason. Because right now we've got some abilities, we literally have the Spirit right here, the Mustang Spirit. And, and now we're going to be killing the Alfie Gen 3 Spirit. We're just waiting for it to spawn in. I'm hoping it doesn't take us as long as that Mustang Spirit. Because wow, that took so, so, so long. We have like a few hours until the challenge finishes. We have like four or five hours so i'm still still certain that we can easily get it we've, because we have like one we have three bosses left so which is not that bad to be honest okay the elfie gen 3 spirit is ready to summon and now we'll see if they're very very uh, this is my first time fighting the like this spirit so we'll see if they're stronger or not okay we can use this move here okay we've already done a very very good amount of damage to it okay we need to be cautious of this less special move so we're just going to use this first here and wait for I guess, why is it not using any, oh there's the beast ball, no, can we avoid it, okay we kind of did avoid it, okay now that's where the special move is going to come in, okay it's bubbles, oh that's actually, that looks so so nice, and they barely did any damage to us to be fair, so okay, this boss is going to be very very easy to kill, I can tell already, it's not going to be that hard at all, okay they're very very low already, so we just need like two more moves of like the spike and the shadow move and we should be good, we can dodge this, oh never mind we can't dodge that, but we can use this quick, and there we go, it's already dead. Oh, imagine we got it first try, that would have been absolutely amazing. However, we didn't. But yeah, I'm just going to be killing this repeatedly. And I'll see you guys once we do get the Spirit Hollow Mask. I'm hoping we do get it very, very soon. Alright, so we did get the Alfie Gen 3 Mask. And now we have two more left. Chocho and the eight tails octopop and now we're just waiting for Chocho to spawn in and then after that we're of course gonna absolutely obliterate the spirit but yeah so far to be honest we've been getting them like very 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 easily like after i killed them like five six times for the most of it we've been getting them which is very very good the only ones that took like a long time is probably the mustang spirit that took so so long but every other spirit to be fair we got it super super fast 10 seconds 8 seconds left until the chocho gen 3 spawns Okay, I'm going to use this first. Okay, then use this. Okay, we, so far we've done a very, very good amount of damage. It's just that these moves are so, so annoying. So annoying. They do so much damage too, which is very, very bad for us. Okay, we're just going to use our wave. And then here we're going to use this. Just so we can protect us for a little bit. Okay, we can't avoid that, of course. And it does it does a decent amount of damage. Okay, now they rest. Oh, so they don't really do that much damage to us. Then I can use this. Then I can use this. Then I can use this. And then this. Bro, look at these combo wombos, and now how low are they? Okay, they're very, very low. Two more of, like, the sand and the shadow, and they should be dead easily. This, so we can avoid it, run around a little bit, you know, skate around, scooch, scooch around. Literally so, so low, bro. 
and that should kill them. Oh, wow. Okay, that didn't kill them. Okay, I got too cocky. I should have got a bit closer, but that should kill them 100%. There we go. They didn't drop it first try. However, they weren't even that difficult to kill, to be honest. But yeah, I'm going to be killing this boss over and over again. And I will see you guys. But yeah, I will see you guys when we do obtain the Gen 3 mask. All right, guys, and there is one left now. Okay, the Octopop Gen 3 is our last spirit to kill, and coincidentally, we have spawned right next to it. So we're going to fight it straight away just to show how absolutely powerful we are. However, this is, I think, the worst spirit to kill because, bro, he's so, so annoying. Like, he's just, he's like the, the most annoying, like, tailed beast, especially when he uses that, like, ink move. Where he inks the screen and I can't see at all, bro. That's super, super annoying. There we go. Yeah, it's just like, and then I can't literally see anything. I can barely, barely see where he spawned in. Okay, he's rested here so we can hit him with this move. And then hit him with this move. And then he's already came back. Okay. Wow, that ink move just literally so, so annoying. But so far, we've got a decent amount of damage done to him. Like a very, very good amount. Okay, he uses beast ball here. So we've got to try and avoid it. And then the second that we see him ink, that's when we go. Oh, never mind. I was still too late. All right. We just have to do, I think, use our shadow move. And then, okay, that's done a decent amount of damage. Oh, he's already dead just like that. Okay. I'm going to be killing this guy over and over again until, of course, he drops his Gen 3 mask. And then after that, we can finally, finally go to that Aizen place and claim our Tentails. So, yeah, I'll see you guys after we have got the hollow mask. All right, and just like that, I think, if I'm not mistaken, we have the, or oh, basically all the Gen 3 Nine Tails, and now we can travel, and where is it? Is it, is it the last one here? Okay, Aspada. We're going to be traveling to Aspada. I'm hoping I didn't miss any of the masks, because if we do, that I don't even know what mask I missed. We have spawned in, and now we go to the center, I'm pretty sure, and just click on the portal, and it should be done. I apparently need the Bloodline bag too, which is, I'm hoping you don't, because it'll be unfair on everyone. That doesn't have the bloodline bag. I accidentally pressed the wrong move there, but I'm gonna press this move here to get us faster. And yeah, I'm I'm hoping it works, bro. I'm hoping. Okay, this is the final final stretch for this video. Let me just press on it. Are you looking for power? Yes, mask of Gen Three required. Accept. Do you wish to continue? Unlocked Aizen Gen Three Spirit. Wow, that was a journey, man. Okay, that's good. I'm hoping we can. Can we equip it? Okay, I'm guessing here yeah, we can't equip it because, of course, you need the bloodline bag. And how much is the bloodline bag? Okay, it's 50% off to be fair. It's 350 Robux. So I'm going to purchase it real quick and then so we can basically equip it and complete the challenge. All right, okay, I've purchased the Robux and now we can just buy this and then obtain and equip the bloodline. Wow, that took so, so long. And okay, as that meters, okay, there we go. If you go back on where is it mastery oh, yeah, there we go and equip it you know equip it to two because wow that apollo sand carried us so so much and there's three moves wait okay we need bloodline level 200 700 and then the mode is like level 800 i'm pretty sure so yeah i'm just gonna grind it off camera because there's no point of grinding it on camera because i'm just gonna be doing glock grinding for a couple hours until we do get it so it is very very boring however for the challenge, we've actually completed the challenge done done and dusted because we obtained the Eisden Bloodline. Now I just want to like level up just so I can showcase it to you guys. So I'm just going to be doing like a two, maybe like a, an hour or two of log grinding until we get to level 700 Bloodline and I will see you guys then. All right, guys. And after a lot of log grinding, we have maxed out our Bloodline level 1000. And to be honest, we don't need to do no more Grease Core missions for coins because we killed so many Gen 3 bosses that we have. We still have 6.2 million coins is left then we can equip this and bro this is my first time actually this is my first time with this bloodline bro and it looks absolutely fire and form 2 just looks amazing i've had like the inverse version but this one just looks so much more clean bro it looks amazing now we might as well should we kill a boss with it yeah you might as well kill a boss with it and just use it there we go vbn just to test it out to you guys all right i've decided i'm gonna go for the, is that the dio senko boss yeah we might as well kill the dio senko boss okay there we go and we're just going to be using our ten tails and only our ten tails here. So just all of my ten tail moves, nothing else. Bro, that does damage. Holy. Okay, 
But this guy is like very, very annoying to kill because of the amount of stop times he has and stuff. But yeah, our M1s are going to be doing good amount of damage. I don't want to go to my Q version because when I press my Q spec, I start to fly and stuff. And it takes so much MD. It's a very, very cool, but it just takes so much MD off me. Yeah, and then I can use my C spec because my C spec is probably the, one, the only thing that does like a decent amount of damage against bosses. And then we can just hit him. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, he's already half HP. So we've done a decent, decent amount of HP to him already. Then we can use this. And then we can hit him, use my end move. Okay, well, this guy's comboing because we can just use our E spec. There we go. That's th That does a decent amount of damage. Okay, that's really, really good. All right, okay, this guy is super, super low. But there's like so many people on this guy for some reason. So many people are on Dio Senko. I feel so sorry for Dio Senko here. And I can just do some M1s here just to kill him really, really quickly. And there we go. The guy just died. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's use our Q spec before our md runs out look how cool the flying animation is it looks so so amazing but yeah guys that has been the video of me obtaining the 10 tails in 24 hour challenge we managed to of course obtain it that was a very very good journey however to anyone still watching till this part of the video thank you very much and for that i'm gonna be rewarding you guys by giving away this account to just one random person all you have to do to enter is just to like the video and just comment down below a way i can actually message you if you have like a discord or twitter to be honest even your roblox username i'll just add you and send you the details that way just yeah just comment down below any way i can like basically contact you and yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe also comment down below if you have any other shinder life ideas hope you have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day guys and peace out guys peace out